I'm an English teacher working for a public high school in Gyeonggi province, which is the biggest province in South Korea. I've taught English for about 15 years and a half at school, and for 13 years for EBS, which stands for Educational Broadcasting System. Both in and out of school, I've taught English. Uh, that led me to create my own learning content so that I can use those learning videos not only for my students, but also all the other students throughout Korea whenever they want to learn. My YouTube channel is Hong Kong Tel Television, which means self-study in Korean. And I, I have uploaded about 950 videos since 2013, and I have gotten a lot of comments from learners. I feel very rewarded, but you know, I have had a lot of challenges so far. For example, it is really hard to get more attention from people because a lot of YouTube viewers in Korea like to watch entertainment videos more often. So when I saw the creators in other fields got more attention and go much higher real quick, it got really hard for me to pr produce learning content consistently. Plus, I wondered how I could use or interpret the feedback uh, from viewers effectively to um, improve my YouTube channel. I personally think these challenges uh, might apply to all, almost all the learning creators as well. So I got, a, I got a couple questions right here. First question, what do you think is the value of the learning or professional creators in YouTube? And the second question, what kind of efforts YouTube is doing to help us deal with these kind of challenges? Challenges, And what kind of changes will learning creators can expect in a foreseeable future? Um, Thank you. Thank you for um, the uh, question um, and the feedback, and congratulations, um, you know, on uh, the success you're seeing, and you know, and acknowledging the challenges as well.